Hey guys, it's Stacy, and today I'm here to do my March wrap up. I'm sorry there wasn't a video on Wednesday. I have been really sick, so I didn't want to film. I went to the ER yesterday. It's been a trip this week, but as you can see, Betty is won't lay down. Okay, but we're doing my March wrap up. I didn't have the best reading month in March. Like I said, I've been really sick, and then I started seeing a new boy, so I've spent like every waking fucking moment with him because he's fucking adorable. But we're going to do my March wrap up. First, I want to talk about the book that I DNF this month. I don't know if I'm ever going to finish it or not. I haven't decided. But that was The Obsession by Nora Roberts. This is supposed to be like a psychological thrill thriller type thing about this girl whose dad is a murderer and a rapist, and she's like the one who turns him in. The first part of the book where it was about that was really, really interesting. But now that she's like grown up, it's all about like whether she wants to fuck this dude or not and I don't care like eh, I want to know more about why she's obsessed with this but she's not like it says in the blurb that she's like obsessed with what her father did but she's not it, it makes no sense I probably won't ever finish this so I'll unhaul it eventually but I wanted to like this my sister likes Nora Roberts so I wanted to like her I own two of her books now but I didn't like this book. So the first book I finished in the month of March was Sword of Destiny by Andrew Sapkowski. This is the second book in the Witcher series and I gave this 2.75 out of 5 stars. This I did not like this at all. The first book, The Last Wish, was amazing. I loved it. I gave it 4 stars. This felt completely different. Gerald in this book was like a little bitch the whole time. Like the way he acted, the way he like talked in this book was completely different. All he did was like mope around and whine and there's like so much Yennefer in this book and I don't like Yennefer at all. Like I don't know why people like her but I don't like her. This wasn't good. It took me forever to read and it took me like three days to read The Last Wish. This took me like two weeks. I did not enjoy it. I, did, I mean I'm going to continue on because I do really like Geralt from The Last Wish. The ending of this book, the last story, kind of made up for it, even though Jarrett was still like, eh, I didn't really care for him, but I'm going to be reading the next book. I want to continue on with this series because I did love The Last Wish, but this one, this was not good at all. I'm glad I'm not the one who paid 16 bucks for this paperback. My ex-boyfriend was, so, <laughs> but did not like this at all. The next book I read was on my Kindle, and that was Waking Gods by... Suvain Nouvelle, is that how you say his name? This is the sequel to Sleeping Giants. I gave Waking Gods four stars. I really enjoyed it. I did not care for Sleeping Giants that much, but Waking Gods was like, oh shit. Like, stuff got real in Waking Gods. This is a sci-fi, this is like an earthbound sci-fi series, but it kind of kind of gives you like a p apocalyptic vibe as well, especially things that happened in the second book. It was good. Highly recommend it. Most people love the first book. I didn't. But, like, the second book is so good, and I'm really excited to read Only Human when it comes out, so I'm um, amped. The next book I read was Furthermore by Tahara Mafi. I gave this 4.5 out of 5 stars. I fucking love this book so much. Like, it was so cute. I love Alice so, so much. I love this world. I love Tahara Mafi's writing style in this book. The only reason it got a 4.5 out of out of five stars instead of like a complete five stars I did not like the ending of this book it was abrupt things weren't resolved there were questions I still had there's something with her mother in here that is never addressed and I really wish it was addressed because it's very important because this is a middle grade book and the relationship she had with his mother her mother was not healthy at all and it is never addressed so but I did really really love this book I'm really excited to read Witchwood because I know Alice makes an appearance in Witchwood so I love this book except for the ending highly recommend though the next book I read was a princess in theory by Alyssa Cole I gave this 3.5 out of 5 stars this was a very cute book about a girl who starts getting these emails from this person who says she is the betrothed of a prince and then she meets this guy named Jamal and it just goes from there it is really cute I do wish I enjoyed it more than I did um, this is like a new adult adult romance there is not much smut in here, so if smut's not your thing, definitely read this. Because there's not, there's like maybe two, three sex scenes, and they're not that graphic. Um, but this was really cute. I really enjoyed it. 
Letty, the main character, kind of got on my nerves, though, because, like, she was... Everybody else made mistakes, and, like, every time they tried to fix them, she was like, no, you can't, because you made this mistake. It's gonna haunt you forever. But she made a lot of mistakes, and, it's ne and she never has to address any of them, so... I didn't like that part, but I did. I really enjoyed the love interest. I thought he was adorable, and I think this is a very important romance because it is own voices, it is diverse, the love interest and Letty are both people of color, which I think is really important because we really don't see that in romance. And this is like one of my first fortes into this genre and I'm definitely going to pick up more because I did enjoy this. I am going to be picking up the sequel. Betty, what are you doing? Betty, everyone. She's a good doggo, but she can't hear me, so she's just... Betty's deaf, if you wanted to know, so... Girl don't know what the fuck is going on, but I am going to be reading the sequel to this when it comes out in June, so yeah. The next book I read was my favorite book I read this month, and that was Our Dark Duet by Victoria Schwab. I gave this 5 out of 5 stars. This was fucking amazing, okay? Like, fan-freaking-tastic. The ending had me dying. Like, I love this Savage Song, but like, I just like, I didn't know if I was going to love this one as much because I love the Savage Song, but oh my god. But I love this book. This this series, this duology is incredibly dark for a YA. There is little to no romance, so if that is your thing. But this book has my heart and soul. I love this duology. It's one of my favorite ones of all time. I just, August and Kate are so amazing. August is a completely different person in this book and it like broke my heart. But I was like, I understand, but he's so cute. So, so cute. I love Kate so much. But yeah, 5 out of 5 stars. If you have not read this duology, please do. Why are you crying? Okay, Betty's not crying. She wants attention. So, that's Betty, ladies and gentlemen. And the last thing I read this month was a graphic novel, and that is I Hate Fairyland by Scotty Young. This was so cute. This has my favorite art of all time. Like, it even beats out Monstrous. Like, I loved it. I gave this 4 out of 5 stars. This is about a girl named Gertrude who goes through this portal into fairyland where she has to find a key to get out but it has been like 37 years she's like a 40 year old woman in a six year old's body she's crazy she doesn't she doesn't give a fuck and i love it so much this is what i live with but yeah love this four to five stars so that's it for today's video. Um, I need to go because Betty is going to rip my bedsheet if I don't play with her soon. So yeah, I will see you guys in another video.